Before I get started on this video, I want to tell you about Top Dental right here in Monte Ecuador. I went through this morning and had some uh, a little checkup done to see what was going on with one of my implants that we thought we were going to lose, but the doctors were able to save it by doing some more additional bone grafting. So you probably can't tell it, but I have about five or six stitches inside my mouth, top of my lip and my gum. Uh, but I can sure tell it. <laughs> but anyway, I got I can't say enough about these people at Top Dental. Dr. Carino and Dr. Ortiz are the best team I've ever seen in my life. And I'll tell you the reason why I like them, folks. They don't treat you like a patient. They treat you like you're part of their family. They take care of you. They're gentle. They, they work with compassion. And they do everything they can to save your teeth and to help you with your, whatever your dental needs are. I got to tell you, folks, Am I being attacked by a balloon? Probably one of my many fans <laughs> spying on me. But anyway, uh, I got to tell you, folks, you could fly to Ecuador, to Monta, first class from North America, spend the week in any of the fine hotels we have here, whether it's the Wyndham or the Oro Verde, have full mouth restoration done, and you'll spend less money than you would if you did it to, with a dentist in the United States. And I tell you, when, when Dr. Carino and Dr. Ortiz are done with you, they make sure you're okay. Dr. Carino always gives me a shot in my hip, which I've never had done by a dentist in the United States. He gives me a shot, an anti-inflammation, so I don't swell up and have all kinds of problems. That's because these guys care. So anyway, Top Dental. Put that in your notes. I'll put their information in the description. They're the best. They're the best right here in Montreal. Okay, so let's get on with the video. This, believe it or not, is a little short Q&A. And as soon as I come back, we're going to get started answering my friend Ron's questions. Hey. Hello there. So I got an email from my friend Ron. I'm not going to say his last name out of a, uh, in, in the interest of anonymity. I don't want to uh, give out his last name. He says, hey Don, hope you're recovering well. He's talking about the recovery from my foot surgery. I have a few questions that I don't think you've covered in previous videos. Or maybe I need some clarification. So here goes. Number one, can you get satellite American music in Monta, such as Sirius, Apple, Spotify, etc.? Uh, I don't know about Sirius. I haven't really tried. I personally, I I subscribe to Pandora. I do have to, and I have it on my phone. And when I listen to it, I I, I listen to it through my VPN. I have a VPN installed on my phone. That's the only way that I can get it here. I haven't tried Spotify. I haven't tried Sirius. I know that probably most of these, you know, pay for view or pay uh, radio services, like maybe Apple Music, you can probably get here. But I just don't really have any hard facts to give you to, you know, to... to to be accurate about it, okay? I personally, I get Pandora music, but I do have to be on my VPN. That's his first question. Number two, I know you said Ecuador is a cash society, so to be clear, they don't accept AMX, Visa, MasterCard anywhere? No upscale restaurants? I don't know about American Express, but they I, I, they take Visa, and I'm, they may, maybe some people take MasterCard. I have a... a Charles Schwab Visa card, and I have an Amazon Prime card. I've used them both here. Uh, you're not going to use them as a local tienda, I'll tell you that right now. This is pretty much a cash-based society. When you come here, you got to get used to carrying cash with you folks and paying most of your bills and stuff with it. When you go to a high-end restaurant or a high-end store, like say, I, I recently purchased a clothes dryer. And I used my swab debit card, a Visa debit card, and I had to pay an extra fee to get 
to use that card. Everywhere that I've used my Visa card, I was charged a fee for using it. So I don't know if it's such a good idea. You know, maybe for the larger purchases, anything over three, four, five, six hundred dollars, you know, yeah, you, you're 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 going to be you're going to be charged a fee for it. You know, now I personally, I have a Jet bank account here, which is where I have my CDs invested. They don't have a checking account, but I use a, I have a savings account, and I have a Visa debit card that I use with it for purchases around here. And I also use that to pay some of my utilities. So I hope that answers your question. I just, I, I've, I've got a neighbor here that just argues with him, said he uses his debit card everywhere he goes but you know you can't use it in a taxi you can't use it at the tiendas more than likely you're not going to use it in much of the places down on the beach I, I don't know I'm sure somebody will correct me on that and that's fine I hope you do you know because we want to be accurate on this channel but most of the time cash is king here cash talks you know you have more negotiating power too when you use cash bad thing about it is that you're carrying cash around so you have to be very discreet about it don't flash it I'm one of my big good friends here just got yelled at yesterday morning for his friend of another friend of mine was standing behind him at the bank and he got a bunch of cash and he stood out outside the door of the bank in in the mall and counted his money not a good move not a good move so I, you know, just just keep in mind that you're going to use cash, all right? So, excuse me, I'll get a drink. But, well, you cannot drink my beer, okay? Stay the hell out of my beer, Mr. Parker. Mr. Parker keeps trying to steal the show here. Sorry about that, folks. We'll be having a talk later. Pilsner beer. It's the best beer in Ecuador. Okay, so, next question. And by the way, Ron, if, if you're not satisfied with any of these answers or you want further clarification, please send me an email, okay, like you, like you did with this one. And I will answer you, okay? I think you know that. Uh, so it's number three question. So if that's the case, you have, to, you have to have a bank account with a Monta Bank and credit card to pay. Is that correct? Well, like I just said, I mean, I have a JEP account here. You don't have to have a Monta bank account, you know, but it's, it's, I'd certainly recommend it. I mean, I, I think that I might even open up an account at Banco Pachincha or Banco, uh, Banco, Wa Banco Wayaquil. One of the reasons why is because I can probably transfer their part of the jet or no, part of the SWIFT banking system and you can transfer money straight in here. You can't do that at JEP. Which, by the way, folks, I'm doing another interview this weekend with my friend, my financial advisor at JET. This time we're going to do it in a conference room where we're going to have quiet and we won't have traffic driving by like we did the last time. And we're going to answer a lot of good questions about investing in in, in Ecuador and buying CDs, investing investing at JET and opening bank accounts, co-CD insurance, the whole works. So, but no, Ron, I mean, I if you come here and you're going to buy some CDs and then you're going to have a bank account. And you can use the debit card there. You can transfer money into it. I wouldn't have money directly deposited to it from the U.S. That's just my gut feeling about it. Number four. I've been told there are several flights per day out of Quito or Waikil airports to Monta. Is that correct? I've been told it's $100 each way and it's a half hour flight. Is that true? not a hundred dollars and I don't think they have multiple flights from Waikil. I don't think you can get flights from Waikil to Monta or Monta to Waikil at all. Now when the new Equatoriana Airlines comes into business here, which they should have already been here, they may have flights to Waikil but I kind of doubt it. Waikil is a two and a half hour drive from here. I don't think it's profitable for any airline unless they're flying Cessna 172s or 182s. Uh, but they are there are multiple flights to Quito, and you can look. There, Latam is popular here. Copa is popular here. Avianca is popular here. You can get a flight to Quito for fifty nine bucks. Okay, fifty nine dollars. 
best advice that I have for you, and yes, I'm giving you advice, get online. Get online, check uh, Cheapo Air, C-H-E-A-P-O Air, and they, they can show you the schedules and the prayers, okay? Number five, as far as a homeowner in Monta, you can't pay a utility bill, water, such as taxes by check. Can you please clarify? Not having a postal system in Ecuador is a big inconvenience. So I've got two answers for that question. Here, here, here is some free advice. Don't bring a checkbook, folks. <laughs> if you have an account at JEP, you're not going to have a checkbook anyway. They don't, we don't do checks here. You either pay with a credit card or cash. I'm sure there are some people, I mean, I, I got a check. When I got uh, my when they, my previous landlord returned my deposit, she gave me a check. She misspelled my name, screwed it up big time. But fortunately, I was able to go to my friend at Jet, and he managed to let me deposit it. You 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 will. <laughs> I should do a whole separate video on how you pay bills here. Ecuador is behind the times when it comes to pay systems. It's such a shame, especially here in Monta. You pay cash or you pay cash. <laughs> I, there's, I pay my phone bill, my, uh, I pay my phone bill, my electric bill, and I pay for my insurance through my JEP bank account online. Everything else, I have to go to Western Union and pay it there. And I pay cash. Nobody, nobody takes checks. I've, I've not seen anybody here write a check at the grocery store or anywhere. So the second part is not having a postal system in Ecuador is a big inconvenience. How is that? I love not having a postal system here. I've, I've been here 16, going on 17 months now. And I have not missed having a mailbox. Not one minute have I missed having a mailbox. I'm so fed up with going to the mailbox back home and having it full of junk. So you're not going to get that here. Maybe I should do a separate video about that. We do not have a postal system here. Get used to it, folks. Get over it. Countries operate just fine without post offices and mailboxes. If you want something delivered, Serbian Trago will deliver, DHL delivers, FedEx delivers. There's a lot of delivery services that will get your stuff to you. You don't need a mailbox. This is 2022, not 1922. You can get correspondence via email. So, I get a little excited talking about that, but it's true. I mean, who, who needs a mailbox? You don't need a mailbox here. You have mentioned that you use Swap Financial for your investments mainly because it is the only financial company where you can get reimbursed for bank fees. Not true. I didn't say that. I, I'm pretty sure I didn't say that. I think Wells Fargo reimburses ATM fees. I think Chase does too, but I'm not sure about that. But yeah, I use Wells Fargo because they reimburse me for my ATM fees. I use the ATM two times, maybe at a stretch, three times a month. And, you know, they charge $1. fifty for each time, and Swab gives it back to me on the first of the month. Can you explain the process in greater detail? Here's about as detailed as I get. Swab gives it back to me at the first of the month. On the first day of the month, I get a deposit, and it says ATM rebates. Plus, I get my interest that I get from Swab. Boy, big woo to do that is. Uh, more detail on how you would withdraw a large amount of money from Swab to get to a local Monta bank. So a large amount of money, if you're, again, if you're at JEP, you can do a domestic transfer in the United States to Bank of Potentia in Miami and then Bank of Potentia will do the transfer to your account here in Ecuador at JET. Uh, you can get in touch with Bank of Potentia, Bank of Wyakill, several other banks, Austro Bank, Bank of Austro. By the way, Bank of Austro uh, does not charge ATM fees. So that's something to think about too. And that's local family owned bank. I think it's the same people that own the Oral Verde Hotels and probably half of Ecuador. But large amounts of money, I do wire transfers to get here. Number seven, I know you're planning on buying a car. Can you use a U.S. driver's license and for how long? 
I would assume you need a lawyer. You can use your U.S. driver's license, but I don't know how long. I think it's good for 30 days, but somebody may need to correct me on that. If anybody knows, please leave it in the description or, or in the comment section, okay? Um, you, 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 you can, I've heard, I've been told that you can use your license, but it's for a limited period of time. You don't need a lawyer to get a driver's license. You don't need a lawyer to get a driver's license, period. What do you have to do, it's question number eight, what do you have to do to get an Ecuadorian driver's license? You have to go to driving school, you have to go take a test, and you have to pay a fee. There are other ways. Come to Monta and buy me breakfast and we'll sit down face to face, and I'll tell you about some of these other ways. But that's as far as I'm going with that topic online. Do you have to take a test? Yes. Or can you have a lawyer? Have no. Don't hire a lawyer to get your driver's license. Number nine, how do you find the TV reception in Monte? Is it good? I know it's all satellite. Even in the USA, it's terrible when it rains. They have direct TV here, but from what I've seen, I wasn't too impressed by it. I don't think the local channels here use HD. Their, their programming is horrible. It, I, I stream everything. I don't, I don't subscribe to cable at all. I use Tenet, T-E-N-E-T, -E -E just like you see right here. All right? It's an IPTV service. That's the way to go, folks. When you come to here, you get a VPN. You don't really have to have a VPN for this. Two things you need. VPN, you can, I can give you all kinds of reasons for using a VPN, and an IPTV service. You need an Android TV or a smart TV or an Amazon Fire Stick, or any streaming device that you can get. And you can get, I get over 16,000 channels for $11 a month. I can watch local channels from countries all over the world. So it costs $11 a month. Maybe I'll do a separate video about that. But check them out. IPTV, you have to have a player. I use TV Mate, T-I-V-I-M-A-T-E, on my TV. My TV is an Android TV. Actually, I use this on my Fire Stick. And then I have Tenant as for the playlist. Cost me $11 a month. And it works really pretty good. Every once in a while, I might get a tad bit of um, buffering. But 99.99% .99 of the time, it works great for what I want to watch. I can watch any NFL game, NBA game. National Hockey League game, not that I'm a sports fan, but just telling you, you can, you can watch any of those on Tenet, T-E-N-E-T. -E and then, one last question, Don, is Jeb the only bank you use for CDs? No, use Jep. You said Jeb, J-E-B. It's Jep, January Echo Papa. It, and yes, it is. But I don't recommend that. I recommend spreading it out. There's other cooperatives here that you can put your money in, folks. Stay tuned for my video with uh, Mr. Bermudez, my financial advisor at JEP. We're going to be doing it this coming Saturday. I'll be posting it at the first of the week. And we're going to answer a lot of these questions about buying CDs, where to buy them, how much you should spread it out. You don't want to... You want to diversify your investments like you would in the United States. That's the end of the questions. Thanks, Ron, so much for writing. Thanks so much for having confidence in me. And that's it for this video. I guess I'll see you guys on the next one. As you can see, it's turned out to be a beautiful evening here in Monta. It's been sunny most of the day. We've had some really great weather here lately. And, God, the temperature's in the low 70s. It's Perfect. Can't ask for better weather. See you on the next one. Ciao, ciao.